Whether it's singing in the shower or on a stage, Audrey Sams is in love with the hobby. So now I am super involved in musical theater and all the stuff that goes with it. Like I'm in drama at school. I do like private vocal lessons. I don't actually do any dance lessons, but you kind of do that when you're in shows anyway. Audrey has been singing and dancing since before she can remember, and now she is a junior in high school. She had done karate for many years, and she's very good at karate. Um, but really, her true love is musical theater. With senior year soon approaching, Audrey is going to pursue a career in the performing arts. She even has a dream school in mind. Right now, my goal is to do um, probably musical theater. And my top school that I'm looking at right now is OCU because they have a great theater program. However, at one point in Audrey's life, this dream could have been crushed. When she was in the third grade, she was diagnosed with a brain tumor. Um, she had an astrocytoma. It was um, a level one, which was a benign tumor, and it was in her cerebellum. Astrocytomas are a type of cancer that forms in the brain or spinal cord. Audrey's tumor was located on her cerebellum, which is why it affected her speech and balance. Audrey didn't know she had a brain tumor until it was almost too late. She was beginning to lose control of her balance while having constant migraines and consistently throwing up. Audrey went through two different surgeries after she was diagnosed. And they gave me a shunt on the top of my head to drain all of that pressure. After the shunt was placed, Audrey was transferred from St. Francis in Tulsa to OU Children's Hospital to have her tumor removed. And then I had the surgery to, um, what's it called? Um, to take out that brain tumor. And it was done by Dr. Yan, I believe her name was. Well, her brain tumor was life-threatening um, because of where it was. So it was very important that it be removed. Immediately after her surgery, had to have regular MRIs. To this day, someone that meets Audrey would have no idea she had a brain tumor. Her amazing recovery has made her the spunky girl she is today. So I've known Audrey for about six months and I would have never even known that she had a brain tumor unless her family told me. She's just so funny and feisty that I would have never thought that she would have had to go through something so traumatic like that. Through the challenges Audrey faced, she hasn't let it stop her. She overcame every battle that went her way and now she will have a lifetime of singing left. The best is yet to come. Mm -hmm.